Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm coming to you from Marco Island. I'm over on the west coast of Florida and I'm going to be doing a primitive camping trip. I'm going to be camping near the dome houses off of Cape Romano. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this trip for a while. So I have an inflatable dock and I have my sea dew and we're going to take the inflatable dock out and I'm going to anchor it and I'm going to camp on top of it. Now I know it sounds crazy, but heck, I've slept on paddle boards before. So this is going to be luxury compared to what I've done before, but I'm really excited. I wanted to do this for quite some time and finally it all came together. So I'm going to be taking the sea dew with my inflatable dock and my tent. I'm going to be doing some primitive camping. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Hopefully we'll see some amazing stars and maybe we'll catch some fish too. All right, y'all, so here's the situation. Sea dew, about to attach it. I was over on the West Coast for a top secret shoot, which I'm sure you guys are gonna like in the future. It'll come out next year. But I'm going to head over to the dome houses today. So I'm gonna load up the sea dew. I already have my inflatable dock and my tent attached. It's gonna be epic. So I took out that seat. So now I have that single seat in the front. This is my inflatable dock. This is my tent. And inside I'm gonna keep my battery and my inflator for the inflatable dock. So I'm just gonna plug into that. Heck yeah. I should probably be doing this in two trips, but I'm doing it one. I'm gonna set up my dock, set up the tent, take all the gear off, get this ready for fishing. It's gonna be it. So guys, I'm at the Goodland boat ramp. This is where I'm gonna be launching to go to the dome houses. That's the address. So you can pay for overnight parking. You just put this on your dash. It's 10 bucks a night, can't beat it. So this is where I'm at. This is where I'm gonna be launching bathrooms, little shop there. Super helpful. Oh, it is a scorcher. Oh, I should take the emergency brake off. Okay guys, if you want to see what I have inside, 
I have about six peanut butter sandwiches. We have some beef jerky food. This is the most important part right here in order to make this happen. I am all set up. There is my humble abode for the weekend. I am super soaked. Gosh, it is really hot over here. But I have my lounge chair set up in the water, keeping cool that way. I'm gonna try to find some bait soon and see if I can cast net anything out here. It looks like a perfect spot. There's a great trough. I'm about uh, way steep, way steep in water. <sighs> that was a lot of work. I have uh, different levels of fun. This is definitely a level two. So level one, you're having fun in the moment and would totally do it again. Level two, it's hard in the moment, but you do it again once you think back of the memories. Level three, hated it in the moment and never want to do it again. Most of my things are level two and I have a great time doing it, but whew, this one's going to be interesting. So I'm going to show you guys around. This is my tent. I just have an inflatable pad here and a sleeping bag. I have my grill and this is totally vented. And I have no CM netting. So the regular tents, they will have bug netting. In Florida, you have to put no CM netting in or you survive the night <laughs> or you'll just be miserable be level three fun and i am anchored off the back and i'm anchored off the other side diagonally pretty epic so i want to point out something really really important if you ever want to try to do this and you want to do it legally you need to make sure you have navigational lights so I am not running the sea dew at night. Once I am docked up to my dock, I am leaving it here. And I'm gonna put lights on and I'm gonna keep them on all night 
to make sure that if there's any vessels running at night, they're gonna see my lights. So that's really important if you're gonna use the dock, if you're gonna use the sea dew and you're gonna be out at night, you wanna make sure that you have proper navigational lights. These are made by Railblazer and, ooh, I still have this one on, whoops. Super easy uh, with the mounts. You just put them, lock it, and this isn't even screwed into the sea dew So, super easy. Pop that out. First fish of the trip, y'all. Little snapper. I'm not gonna keep him. We're gonna release him. Try to get another, get another fish. I know there's redfish around. I hooked up on one, it spit. I'm gonna try to get him. Release this guy first. So the dome houses were a vacation home for a retired oil producer named Bob Lee. He used to take his family to Cape Romano. Now the shape of these dome houses, it's very unique because they were made to be self-sufficient. So if it rained, the shape of the dome would cause the rain to be dispelled and go into a gutter and they would use that water for showers. And then they would put fires underneath the dome houses and that's why it was built up on the stilts to keep the domes warm. And those houses used to be on land. So if you haven't seen them yet, it's definitely worth the trip. Guys, how cool is this? It's like my own personal beach. Storms are coming. Just packed up everything. Beautiful, beautiful out. This is one of the coolest places. Storms are coming. I'm gonna make my way in. I just packed up everything. Look at that, how neat is that? If you've never been here, this is called Cape Romano. And those 